What's up, Steeler Nation? Steeler fans everywhere. This is my preview video for Week 10. Uh, Thursday night football. Had to make it a little bit earlier this week because it's the game's on Thursday. Uh, but this is my preview video for the game Thursday night. We have the Red Hot Carolina Panthers playing really good football right now at 6-2. and two, Coming off their win uh, at home against the Bucks to take on the 5-2-1 Pittsburgh Steelers coming off a big win at Baltimore, big division win. Uh, I can't say enough how big that win really is right now, uh, but it was huge. Um, but it's a short week, and we got to get ready for the Carolina Panthers. They're a really good football team. Uh, like I said, always pretty well coached. Uh, they got Cam Newton. Uh, anytime he's on the field, you never know what could happen. Um, but no no hate for the Panthers. Uh, no hate at all. Uh, nothing but respect my way. I mean, I never really have had any hate for the Panthers. There's never really been anything happen in the past for me to have hate for the Panthers. Um, the last time we played Carolina, I believe it was Sunday Night Football. And Le'Veon and LeGarrette Blunt ran all over the Panthers. Um... I mean, I don't have no hate for the Panthers at all, man. They haven't beaten us in almost, what, 22 years or something crazy, they said. Uh, so me, personally, no hate for the Panthers. Uh, and all that shit I said about the 22 years and they haven't beat us in a while, none of that shit matters. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, none of that shit's going to matter come Sunday night because we're going to have to play our best ball and play at another level because the Panthers are playing at another level right now. They're playing really good ball. Um, they can run it. They're one of the best running teams in the league. You know, when you got a quarterback like Cam Newton who can throw it and run, and then you add Christian McCaffrey in the mix uh, who can run and catch it out of the backfield. Uh, he's a, you know, dual threat man. He can run it. He can catch it. Uh, so you're going to have to find a way to stop him. Um, and on the defense for them, uh, Luke Keekley, one of the best fucking linebackers in football. Thomas Davis. Uh, they, you know, they got, they might not have what you call like the best looking defense on paper, but they got a good damn defense and you better come play physical ball, uh, if we think we're going to beat the Panthers come Thursday night. They're a good football team. They wouldn't be 6-2, and two, uh, and on a winning streak like they are if they weren't. Uh, that's just not how the NFL works, man. So, yeah, in this game, we got to win the time of possession. Um, I've noticed how we throw it to open up the run. So, whatever works. Uh, the last few weeks, the Steelers have really had long drives. I love that, how they sustain long drives and score touchdowns on them long drives. Uh, give your defense a break, and it keeps the ball out of the opponent's offensive hand. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to play physical. Um, we're going to have to, like always, stop the run and rush the passer. Uh, we only had two sacks yesterday. Uh, we need to get up, get that number way up. Uh, force turnovers. Make Cam Newton feel uncomfortable to throw the ball where it shouldn't be. Uh, get in his face. You know, wrap him up, sack him. He's playing really good football right now, so you're going to have to fucking tackle no missed tackles. Pressure on the quarterback. Shut down the run. Uh, we do that. Uh, we got very, very confident if we do that, we win. Just straight up. Um, but like I said, offensively, Cam Newton and uh, Christian McCaffrey, they can definitely cause problems. Uh, you know, you can get pressure on Cam Newton and then he can dump it off to McCaffrey. You know what I'm saying? And McCaffrey can just go. So you got to make sure you wrap him up. Good tackling uh, on the defensive side of the ball. And force turnovers, stop the run. Uh, those are, that's where you're at, man. And that will, you got to get, you know, James Conner. Uh, he's been playing outstanding. Um, the Panthers, I do feel like our offensive line is better than what they've got on defense. And I do feel like uh, we'll be able to run the ball on them. Um, and receiving, you know what it is. A, B, Juju. The tight ends, um, mix it up. 
I'd like to see him get the ball to uh, Jesse James a little bit more, you know. But, I mean, I love what I see so far, uh, how we've turned it around. Shout out to Mike Tomlin. He's done a real good job getting this team going in the right direction. Uh, I don't never think he gets enough credit. Seems like the only time we talk about him is when we're losing. I don't think that shit's fair at all, man. But, uh, yeah, man, that's just a little bit of my preview for this game. Uh, this is this is going to be, to this date, be the best Thursday night game of the year. Um, it's going to be primetime, hostile environment, Pittsburgh. I know the Steeler Nation will be ready. So I feel very confident that uh, we'll win this game, and I think this will be a very close game. I think uh, the decision of this game will be three points or under. Uh, uh, let's think these are two... Really uh, hot football teams right now playing really good, and I think it's going to be a really close game. Um, injuries for the Steelers. I did see something this morning about James Washington and was it Daniel McCullers? And uh, seeing something where Marcus Gilbert uh, might be back this week, so we'll see. Uh, I think the offensive line, like I said yesterday, uh, I feel like our offensive line, is one of the most underrated in football. Uh, you know, I know James Conner's playing outstanding. And I know Le'Veon Bell's uh, an elite back. You know, one of the best backs in football when he's on the field. Uh, but I've been saying this for the past three or four years. I think a lot of what they're doing is because of how good the offensive line is. Um, you see guys for our offensive line get banged up. And come out, but we always replace them with someone else. And uh, the offensive line, you know, I feel like is a strong point of our football team right now. That's just me. Uh, I think our offensive line has done a great job. Uh, and I look for them to continue this come Thursday. It's a short week. No hate for the Panthers. Nothing but respect to you guys. Um, you know, NFC South. Uh, I've been watching all the NFC South video makers for years since I've been making videos. They're always entertaining. Uh, I don't really have any hate for any of the NFC South teams. Um, but come Thursday night, Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm very confident will take care of business uh, and get their sixth win and improve to 6-2-1. and one. Uh, Other games in the North this week, we got, let's see, Baltimore has a bye. Uh, Harbaugh hasn't been fired yet that I know of. Um, Cincinnati plays the Saints. And the Browns play the Falcons. So it's an AFC North, uh, NFC South matchup this weekend all across the board. Um, but yeah, man, we have to stop the Panthers. We cannot let the Panthers come in here and put long drives together and score touchdowns or they will beat us. They will beat us. And our offensive line has to be more physical than their defense, defense up front. Um, those two things take place. The Steelers will win. Um, Steelers will roll. Shout out to Steel Jackson. I believe it was Steel Jackson that told me he's going to this game. Uh, way to represent. Uh, so it should be rocking up in Heinz Field come Thursday night. I just wanted to come in here drop this short preview video for the uh, Panthers. Shout out to all the Stiller fans everywhere. Uh, I'm sure y'all are getting ready to uh, make y'all's videos as well. Um, but this is a big game, man. The AFC North, the Stillers schedule this year is just one after another of our competition. And I also saw where our th Sunday night football game coming up after the Panthers was moved to a 1 o'clock game. So anybody that cares about that, uh, there you go. Uh, I'll be ready for that game for sure. But that's all I got here, man. No hate to the Panthers. Nothing but respect. Uh, I'm out. Still a nation. Let's go get this W, man. Peace.